Hi guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is going to be a Patreon plan with me. So if you're interested in seeing that, keep watching. Before we get into the planner portion of the video, I just want to mention that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you're not familiar with Skillshare, it's an online learning community for creatives like you and like me. There are all sorts of classes for creative people like drawing, lettering, photography, all that kind of stuff. I know you guys are interested in that because I am too and we're, we all are interested in the same types of things, right? It's from beginners to advanced, and there's just so, so, so many classes and different topics, and it's really, really cool. Each class has a video lesson plus a class project. They're all under 60 minutes long, and they're broken out into small sections, so you can like take a lesson and then come back later and finish it up. It's great for busy people. Also, there's no ads, not like on YouTube, so I think the cats are playing with a toy over there. <laughs> Um, anyway, there's no ads and that's always, always great, right? Not to have to sit through ads. It's just ready for you to sit down and learn. You can also try one of the live classes where you can learn in real time. A class I've been taking recently is called How to Practice Mindfulness Meditation and the instructor is Zachary Phillips. I didn't even know that there were mental health classes on here. So there's classes about overcoming depression and anxiety, that kind of thing. So I've been looking into those and this one is really good. It's teaching me all about mindfulness and I've read about it in the past, but I'm learning lots of different um, things about it and tips from Zachary. So it's really, really good. So the first 1000 people to click the link in the description will receive a free one month trial to Skillshare premium. So you can check it out for yourself. Okay, so there's gonna be two spreads in this video. The first one is for Alex. She would like a big happy planner spread. By the way, these are both gonna be big happy planner wintery spreads, but the first one is for Alex. She wanted one for December 6th through the 12th. And she said that her Corgi Finn is, um, her bir his birthday is on December 8th. So she said, how about a spread that's wintery with dogs? And like, of course I can do that. So. The, for my first thought was this book and for obvious reasons because I think this is a corgi. Now, don't come after me in the comments <laughs> telling me it's not a corgi. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've like shown stickers and said, oh, this looks like this dog and I'm gonna put it down and then they're like, people are like, no, that doesn't look like that dog. I'm like, well, okay. But <laughs> anyway, why can I not find it? There we go, this page. And I know this is kind of Christmassy, but I'm gonna try to like make it a little less Christmassy, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's gonna be a little Christmassy, but not a lot. The rest of the spread is not going to be. But I thought these were cute little corgi-ish dogs and wintry. And then there's like a lot of other things in this book that go with it, like with this dark green, we've got cozy weather vibes and stuff like that. So I think, I think it's gonna work. Um, I also thought I would bring in these two washi tapes. Now I know this is a constellation kind of washi tape. The color was right and I think it's cute and pretty and who doesn't love polka dot washi? Um, so we're gonna like combine these with these colors and I'm thinking like a dark green, like a teal, maybe some red. We're just gonna see if it works, I don't know. Let's throw down some dogs though. Um, and I know it's a little bit weird that it has this outline, but I think it's all gonna work in the end. So we're gonna put some dogs down at the bottom of the page, along the bottom. And yes, I guess it's gonna be a little Christmassy and I hope that's okay. But I figure let's put corgis down, right? So we have four varieties of this dog. So we're gonna use all four. I don't like how that, you see how that's like wavy on the top and that one's straight. I don't like that at all. So I'm gonna make it wavy. 
Again, don't be afraid to cut your stickers to make them different if you want. If you don't like the way they are, change them, you guys. You can always change them. And that's what I'm doing here. So just try to make it wavy like it was meant to be that way. I don't know. That's better, don't you think? So let's put this one down here. And then we'll put this guy over here. So right away, we've got some corgis on our page. Okay. Now what are we going to do? I really don't know. I do want to put a box for Finn's birthday on the 8th. We'll figure that out. Um, I really liked this one too. So that's why I thought maybe we'd do some like dark red and dark green and like a teal. Maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't, but let's try it out. Um, let's see. There's lots of cats in this book too. Maybe it would be fun to bring in like some of these trees. I don't know. Like in the bottom, I feel like maybe something should go between the corgis. You could put some of those in there. They're a little light though. We also have the other winter sticker book I could look at as well. Um, I think this is from two years ago. This one, this is probably my favorite winter sticker book of all of them. Um, I love this one so much. And we could bring in some of these and the colors are kind of right too, right? Warm blankets and cozy socks. I mean, it's not this, exactly the same, but it will probably work. Some of these stickers here. Ooh, we could bring in trees at the bottom, but they're like a different color green, so I don't know. Or snowmen. Some of those. How about, how about some snowflakes? Then we're introducing like another color completely though. I'm not sure about that. Let's keep looking. I could put some of these cute trees in between. Let me see, I have another sticker book of that same kind. Maybe there's like some more trees. Let's just take a look. I don't think so, but let's see if we can find that page. Yeah. But there's this poinsettia, I mean, Maybe we can, there's a branch. Maybe we can bring some of this stuff in at the bottom. Cause like the corgis are cute, but they look like by themselves, you know, like lonely down there. So let's add in some trees or something, I guess, to make it just a little bit more like a scene instead of just a bunch of dogs thrown in at the bottom of the page. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we can try. Okay, how about about this one. Uh, actually, do I have two of those trees? I do. Let's add another one of these trees in. And we'll maybe bring it down a little so it's shorter than that, so it's not gonna be like exactly the same. I feel like that would be better. And we'll put it all the way over here. But maybe like a little branch. We could pretend it's a tree. I don't know. <laughs> maybe, or we could put like that poinsettia there. I mean, if we're being honest, like it, it doesn't have to look like a scene because this is, we're talking stickers here, people. It is not gonna be realistic in any way, shape or form. So let's put a big flower next to a tiny tree. Why not? I mean, when else can you do that? Except in a planner and with stickers, let's do it. And then over here, we can even throw in like a tiny little branch, I don't know. Just make it festive and fun, not take it so seriously. At least that's what I'm trying to tell myself. Okay, so let's take this and cut the excess off. Oh, I'm cutting the paper, uh-oh. Well, it is what it is. Let's keep cutting those little bits off. Okay, I mean, I think that's fun. That's fun. I might put something else over there. I'm gonna wait and see. Put those down, okay. So, I just think it looks better like with a little bit of something else with them, you know? Okay, so now over here, let's take a look at what we've got going on. 
Oh, there was a whole other page here. We could put a bird. The bird would be as big as the dog, though. Let's not get carried away. How about this? We're going to put this one up at the top, I think. Okay, so Alex said Finn's birthday is on the 8th. So I can't forget that, you guys. I cannot forget that. Let's see what else is here. We can put a couple of these types of box stickers in. Maybe combine it with like some other ones. Um, ooh, I love that. And it's gonna match this washi tape. You see what I'm saying? Let's use this and we'll combine it with a box. I guess we'll combine it with this. Now it's not quite winter yet on this week, but you know, it's getting close enough that you can start putting winter in your planner, I say. I mean, why not? Let's put this here. I usually try to not put winter in my planner until it's actually winter, but I know I'm in the minority there. Same with fall. I do the same thing every year. And then people are like, when are you going to do winter spreads? When are you going to do fall spreads? And I just like, I, I just can't do it. I can't do it until it's actually the time. And I know that's silly, but I usually don't. Um, I do do Christmas spreads in December though. Because, like, if you save it all for just one week, you know what I mean? It's like you just don't get enough of it, in my opinion. There's also these. This one's cute. How about this warm and cozy winter vibes? What does this say? Winter favorites. I kind of like that, too. Of course, as usual, stickers on my fingers, you guys. Oh, we could do Hello December because that's like the beginning of December pretty much. Um, but maybe not. Let's see. Bring on the sweaters. Oh yeah, I was gonna do this one. I think this one's cute. Warm blankets and cozy socks. So, but we can't combine it with the red. Urgh, I should have put the red here, I guess. I don't know. Um, let's combine it with something else though. Could do, this color is like different from that color. Do you see what I mean? But we could still use it. Um, is it really different? I mean, it's not too bad. Maybe what I'll do is cut off the today on this and try to use this box and see how it looks. And combine it with this one. Yeah. So we'll put it, I don't want to put it directly across from the red because then you've got a red heavy, you know, spread and on the top and we don't necessarily need that. So I'm going to try maybe like in the middle type. So let's do this and put it here. Oh no, that's like the same though as that. Okay. We don't want to do the same. Maybe like right here. And instead of putting it on the edge like I did there, maybe I'll put it in the middle just for variety. Um, so that's not the same, you know? Ugh. Why can't I put it down straight? Why? Okay. So warm blankets and cozy socks right there on Saturday. 
where the, where it does belong, honestly. Warm blankets and cozy socks are for any day, but especially Saturday, so. And then we have this one. We can actually put this near here, or I can do like some black boxes in here or something like that. So we have this book and then let's go back in, no, that's the same one. Let's go back in this one too, because maybe there's some boxes in this one I can use. I think it's all gonna kind of coordinate color-wise, hopefully. I forgot about these too. I was thinking about using one of these actually. But that already says, oh, what fun. Can I do that twice? Can I, can I? Maybe. Oh, here we go. Here's one that's dark green that doesn't say that. I can combine this with this maybe. That might work. Um, I kind of don't want like all the same, like let's combine this with this and these same sizes, but it does go, so I don't know. Or maybe I put this like with another smaller box. Let me just look at the box situation again. Except I think I'm gonna put winter favorites in here on the side because um, because Alex can write in her winter favorites there. Why not? Oh, I really like this too. Tis the season to sparkle. That would be cute. And you're probably wondering like why I didn't use these trees down below. It's because I wanted to just create like a different look. So if I used all of these same colors on the bottom, it would be very monotone and I sort of wanted it to be a little bit varied. So that's why I didn't use those. I also wanna use this cozy weather vibes, remember. Let's take that off now before I forget. Let's put it, although that says cozy right there. I don't wanna say cozy and cozy. Okay, how about here? But that's a lot of green. Maybe I combine it near this one, right? If I use this one. It's confusing, people, it is confusing. Now I've got a lot of stickers on my fingers and we're just gonna keep going and uh, make it work. I also really wanna put this on my finger too, but <laughs> it's too much, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Ah, okay. Now I've got lots going on here but I really like this sticker a lot and I think I wanna put it like around this. I think I wanna put it like right here. I know that takes up some room on Saturday, but I just think it's so cute and I think it goes well with that and I just wanna do it. What the heck, let's put the cozy weather vibes down here. I know there's a lot of green or we could put it right there. Let's put it down here. I know there's a lot of green, but I kinda of like that idea of like two little quotes with the little boxes. I think that's cute. Okay. So let's put in some lines while we're thinking of it and washi tape before I forget because I don't wanna like put on too much else without figuring out where lines and washi are gonna go. So let's get my stencil. So um, let's see, I'm gonna kind of do washi and lines at the same time, which I don't usually do, but I, I think it's necessary. So I don't wanna put this too close to this because that's that same color. So I think I'm gonna put those like at the top. That means that I'm gonna put a few lines right in here on Monday, just a few. Now we can't forget Wednesday's Finn's birthday. So we're gonna to need to figure out what to put on his birthday and I will find something. Okay, maybe I'll like letter happy birthday Finn or something. So this one, I am just going to, just gonna rip. This washi tape came in a set of like constellation washi. I forget what it's called. It's from the washi tape shop and they're all pastel and like different patterns and they're so, so pretty. So I will link that for you. Um, I reach for these when I'm looking for like pastel colors and it's just really, really cute. Um, there's like purples in there and blues and all and pinks and all sorts of colors. And those, um, like I said, they're from the washi tape shop. And if you use code Bumble10, you can get 10% off your order there. And um, there's so many, so many cool 
tapes at that site. And I'm sure you've seen some of my videos um, unboxing some of their tapes. I just love them. And I just love having washi tape here of different colors and different styles just for little accents here and there to make my spread just kind of pop, you know? So let's just do this, put in a little bit here. Okay, oh, that's so cute, I really like that. Okay, then we'll put in some more on the other page, but, but let's wait a minute and put more lines in first so I can see where they're gonna go. Okay, um, let's put some here. Am I using a 0.5? No, 0.38 Muji. This is my go-to pen for lines in my planner, the Muji pens. I get them on Amazon. Let's keep going. Let's put some here. I sort of regret painting my nails this color because it's not matching any of my spreads. <laughs> I mean, this one's not too bad, but like I'm finding when I'm doing these videos and like it's clashing with like every single spread. <laughs> it's so funny, but oh well. Okay, um, before I go to this side, I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this down here and just do another little pop of washi right at the bottom to bring that color down there. And I know it's like stars, but you can't really tell. It's kind of like a decorative pattern doesn't necessarily look like stars in this one. Some of them definitely look like constellations, but this one was a little bit more um, just design-ish, you know, so. Okay, so that just adds a little bit of something down there. I'm probably gonna put another box up there, but let's wait on that for a minute. Um, now let's figure out where we're gonna put the washi tape on this side, and I'm thinking like right here would make sense. So that's sort of in the middle because that's on the top and that's at the bottom and I don't want it to be all top and bottom. So let's do it in the middle. That's how, <laughs> that's how I just like, that's my logic. I don't know. This time I'm going to put it at the top here. Rip it. That one didn't rip so good, but I think that's okay. Um, put it there. Okay, and then maybe just a little bit more, and I don't always do like a lot, but I'm thinking maybe up here, right like around this area. So let's do the same thing. Do a little rip there and just a little bit, you know, not too much, maybe kind of like this, um, but maybe underneath here. Just overlapping that line slightly. There we go. I don't know, there's something about washi tape for me that just pulls a spread together. If it's like, especially if you're not loving it and it's looking um, just like less than what you wanted or it's just like boring you or something, try adding in just a little pop of color from washi and I think it, it sometimes really does um, help out a lot. and. Like there's been times when I've had a spread that I really hated, not or not hated, but just was not comfortable with. Then I throw in some washi and it's like, oh yeah, I kind of don't mind that, you know? Same, same thing happens with the lines. Like when I add in the lines, sometimes it just sort of transforms it into something better, something I like better. So I don't know, I don't know why, but that's kind of the way it is sometimes. I'd say about half the time that I'm doing these videos, I start out and I am worried. I'm worried, especially with the patron ones, I get worried that it's not gonna be good. And I, I do that a lot. Like, but then something um, changes like usually midway through and I realize that I'm starting to really like it. And then sometimes by the end, I absolutely love it. I think this is one of those spreads because I, starting out, didn't like it so much, but it's transforming into something I really like. And um, does that happen to you? I don't know. That happens to me all the time. 
so I guess the lesson is like, don't give up if you're doing a spread and you're like, this is horrible. I hate it so much. Um, just keep going is my point because sometimes you'll find that it changes and you start liking it a lot. So don't just like throw it away and be like, ugh, I hate this. Keep going, finish it. And then if you hate it, you can take the stickers off and start again, you know, <laughs> but just try. Okay. That is cute. Now let's keep going. It's almost done, but of course, like I want to throw in some more boxes and stuff. So let me see. I still have this box. I might put this somewhere by itself, like maybe up here. Let's do that. We do need a box for Wednesday, so let's put it there. Um, and then we need one for Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, wait, this is Finn's birthday. You didn't remind me. <laughs> All right, so I will get a little birthday sticker maybe to put up here or down here. Okay, and then, wait, I can't forget that, but I don't want to stop and find it because I might lose what I'm doing here. So remind me. <laughs> I know you can't, but... <laughs> Okay, let's keep going. Um, let's see, stay cozy. This one really matches, doesn't it? But again, we've got a lot of coziness going on. And then I have this too. Can't forget this one. I think it would be good to add this to the side because we have this sticker here and it brings in, you know, some more green. We don't even have to combine it with a box. I could put like I could put it right here and then just put something like a circle sticker or something over it. Maybe I'll do that. I know that makes a line though. Maybe I should put it down here, but then that's like so close to this green at the bottom. So let's do it halfway between and go in the middle here. Okay, I'll put something to cover that up. A lot of coziness in this book, you guys. I could, there's so many cute stickers, but like I don't wanna bring in other colors. so. The colors that we have going on in this spread, and it tends to change as I go along, you know, and then I stop. So I decided that we've got the dark green, we've got some reds, we we have the like turquoisey kind of mint sort of looking, you know, it's like a turquoise. And then we have like, that's it, that's it. I stopped, I got to that point and I'm like, these are my colors. And that's kind of what I do when I get to like where I, I stop thinking that that's enough, you know? Sometimes I keep going and I do all of the colors, but that's rare. I still need to find something to cover that corner. Look more cozy, cozy and cozy. I mean, it's a good word, you know, but still. I could put this there, but I don't know it's going to cover it enough. There we go. Okay. So that's that. I just need a couple more boxes. There was a red one like this that had the today on it. Let's get that one and cut off the today. Oh, there's these little ones too. Wait. Oh, I could throw these little ones in. I could get this one and this one, right? Put this one down here or here maybe put this one here. There's really no box on Tuesday. Is that a bad thing? I was going to put a box here, but then you have a line. I might just embrace the no box on Tuesday. But then again, I sort of like the idea of two of these boxes, one on each page, these little guys, but I don't really want to put it here. I mean here. I'm going to switch these. Up here, maybe. This one's here. I don't really know if that makes sense, but that's what I'm doing now. I want to put something in this corner. That's what I'm looking for now. Maybe we put some snowflakes there. I'm gonna cut some of this off though, so it's only the two of these. So it's a little smaller. Put 
that's cute. And now we're gonna need snowflakes on this side because you know, that's how I roll. Um, maybe up here. Okay. Let's finish this up with like one box here. Um, Bumble saying hello to all the neighbors and to you. I like this little winter days. I can put that somewhere. I don't know where, but I just like it. Winter days. Okay, I really can't find the box I need. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just throw in a remember box here just to have like a little box there. We're not gonna have a box on Sunday and that's okay. We're not gonna have a box on Tuesday, that is okay. There's white space to write around in. Um, so I'm just gonna finish this up and then find a birthday sticker and we'll be done. So over here, I thought it, I need to write a note to Alex. So I thought maybe like this one or this one, and I'm thinking this one, even though it's a little Christmassy, but I think I'm gonna do that to give me some room. I didn't really want to do the green next to the green, so that makes sense to me. Um, that's a little, little crooked. I don't think it's too bad. And then down at the bottom, I'll do like maybe another poinsettia or something just to finish it off. I'm going to not do it this way, though. I'm going to twist it so that it matches it, but it's not exactly, you know, the same direction. So we'll put that there. That's so cute. It's so cute. Now, um, I just need a happy birthday sticker. So let me pause again and just find one and then we'll be done. Okay. I went back into the OG seasonal sticker book. This is the original seasonal sticker for book from the happy planner. I hardly ever reach for this anymore. Um, but it has some gems in here. So like this page, I haven't even used it. We have just all happy birthday stickers. It's so cute. So I thought I would put this little gold birthday here and then um I was thinking either celebrate or like this cute little can I think I'm gonna use this cute little candle it's like a little gold um like polka dot candle I know there's no gold in here and there's actually silver in the washi but I don't think it really makes a difference I think this is so cute so we're gonna put it right in here I know the boots are there, but it's a winter theme, so that's okay, right? Um, we're gonna put that right in there for Finn's birthday. I think this is adorable. Um, I know this is a little bit blank here, but it's gonna give Alex more room to write. And yeah, I love it so much. Let me know what you guys think. And now on to the next one. Okay, you guys, I couldn't do it. I couldn't leave the boots there. It needed to be a corgi there, I'm sorry. <laughs> It was bugging me, so I cut this little corgi out of like one that had the lights all over him, and I'm just gonna put him onto label paper to make it opaque. And then we're gonna throw him down on Finn's birthday. I mean, that's necessary, don't you think? I wanted to take a little extra time to make a special birthday sticker, and the boots were not cutting it. Like, come on, that was dumb. So here we go. Just gonna trim around it. And, and then we're gonna have a little birthday Finn box. I love the name Finn, by the way, for a dog. I think that's so cute and a kid. <laughs> All right, so this is, look at, oh my gosh, he's so cute. So we're gonna just put him down over the boots and hopefully it will cover it completely. Just about, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. Oh wait, no, there's a little bit, do you see that? There's a tiny little bit at the top. We're gonna have to get in there with some um, whiteout or something. So this whiteout tape, and we're just gonna like cover up the very tippy top of this. There we go, that's better. Okay, <laughs> that's so much cuter, don't you think? Let me know if you think that's cuter. Okay, on to the next spread. All right, spread number two is for Cindy, she would like a spread for any week in December. So I picked the week of the 13th. It's in also a big vertical happy planner and her theme she asked me to do is a, blust a blustery day. And at first I thought winter, like um, windy day. And then 
I was like, wait a minute, what about Winnie the Pooh? Because <laughs> there's like an episode or a movie of Winnie the Pooh or a book or something that's called A Blustery Day. Um, so then I clarified and she said that um, I could just do like a, a wintry, windy day. So that's kind of what we decided upon. Anyway, um, I like the theme. I think it's fun. So I'm going to be using several books here. I'm going to be using these Wrong Wrong Winterland um, stickers from that sticker pack or seasonal. I think it's really cute. And then I thought I would bring in Hooray Seasons and um, what's this one? Seasons. Wait, what was this called? Oh, I forget exactly what we called this one. But anyway, this had a name besides, I have to go look it up. It's called Happy Seasons, I knew it. <laughs> Sometimes the name on the book is different than the name on the website, and it's also different than the name on other websites. It gets really confusing that way. Anyway, Happy Seasons. And then also this older winter sticker book. So we've got a lot of books going on here, but I think it's all gonna coordinate color-wise, and I think it's gonna be fun. I also have some washi tape I thought would, might be good, and I don't know why, but this reminded me of like a windy day. Um, I don't know if it's going to match color wise, but I may use this and we're just going to kind of try to play it by ear and do like a wintry spread for Cindy. So I really like these like fun, um, stickers that are like real photo ones. I've always liked these. So I'm going to probably use a couple of these in here. And I think, is there any in the front? Probably not. And then I'm going to stick with like, oh, here's some more. Then I'm going to stick with some of the other stickers from the other book. I don't think I'm going to use a lot from this book, maybe. I really like this winter days. Hello winter. I know this is not the first week of winter, but the first week of winter is also Christmas week. So um, yeah, how about this one? Frosty mornings and toasty blankets. I think that one's cute. So let's start with this and just kind of see what we can do here. I have these. I thought these were cool, right? I know it doesn't really match this though. Ugh. Um, and I like the color combo in the winter themed part of this one. But again, does it gonna match these? That's the question. Let's take a look at what's here too. These are like so cute. I really like these. Um, this one, like this matches this. But that says the same thing almost. Hot tea, frosty leaves, and sweaters, please. It says frosty mornings and toasty blankets. Okay, sorry. I'm not going to use this one because it says frosty. I know. We probably can't have too much frosty, but you never know. So this one also says frosty. Seriously? That's sweaters, please. I can't use this on this. Let's work from these first because I think that's going to be easier and then maybe add some of that stuff in. So I'm going to start with this one because I think it's so cute. And there's gold in this. We'll bring in some gold, I guess. Why not? And then get some boxes. So I thought I'd bring in some of these pictures too because these are so cute. I just want to see if this matches. I mean, it kind of does, right? Because there's that blue in there. All right. Then, since this does match, let's put some of this down first. And just take it from there. I don't really want the boat on there, but I'm gonna try to do it without the boat. So this is from the washi tape shop. Um, I will link this for you. You can get 10% off your order with code BUMBLE10. And they have some really cute new tapes there now. Um, so you can check those out. I'm a big fan of washi tape. If you watch my channel, you know that. I love it so much and I don't care what anybody thinks. I love it. Now, I. that being said, I have too much washi tape and I have told you before, don't go crazy in the beginning of your planning journey um, buying washi tape. It's not a good idea to buy too much because also washi tape does go bad too. That's the other thing. I've never really mentioned that, but I guess I will put a boat in there. Who cares? I've had that happen before where like 
I have washi tape that's like three years old and it does like some of it, some of it that I have, like it gets too um, sticky or something, but all of it hasn't done that. It's only certain brands. So maybe this wouldn't, I don't know. All right, so that's kind of cute. I don't know why that reminded me of like a windy, wintry day, but it kind of does. So let's just go with it and see. Okay, we're gonna put this one down. Um, I'm just gonna put it right on Monday here. And I'm gonna put it down gently because I might overlap it, layer it with like a box. So let's see if I can find a box to go with that. I really do like the idea of these boxes. I think I am gonna use maybe a couple of these. I don't know. Um, let's see what's in here though. This one's really cute. I don't know if there's a lot of like actual boxes in here. There's really not. That could present a problem. Let's see what we have here some of these too, right? That we used in the last spread, but I think I'm gonna stick with like these ones because I think the colors are gonna go better. I don't know if this washi tape's gonna go. We're gonna play it by ear and just see, but this is gonna be for Tuesday. We'll do that. Um, I'm thinking like we're gonna bring in some snowflakes. Maybe we'll even bring in some of those um, blue metallic ones from this book. I think that would be sort of fun. Was it in this book? I think so, yeah. Some of these. I'll just see what happens. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm also probably going to draw some like wind stuff, you know, like blustery. I don't know. I don't know. That is the theme. I don't know. Okay. I think I'm gonna need more boxes than is in these books. So let's think about this. Do I want, oh, this page is so cute, isn't it? It's so cute. Do I wanna bring in like gold boxes since we have some gold here, but we also have this blue metallic. Do I wanna bring in just like light blue boxes, black boxes? I don't know. I think it's a better idea to bring in metallic boxes because then it's gonna match everything. If I start bringing in all sorts of colors, it's just not gonna flow the way I want it to. And I don't know that I wanna bring black into the spread. Not that much anyway. So let me get um, some gold boxes or silver or something. Maybe I just do gold considering there's gold here, but I don't see silver anywhere else. Even though silver really reminds me of winter Hmm. for some reason. Gold feels like a warm, cozy day and silver feels like a cold and blustery day. So I'm bringing it in, you guys. I don't know why. We're just gonna do silver and gold and that's okay. And this, so we'll bring in all the metals. We're bringing in all the metals here and that's okay to do. Okay, so we're gonna create some clusters. Maybe I'm gonna separate lines down here. I don't know. But let's keep going here. And I really do like these, but maybe this one. Maybe I'll bring in this color. It's kind of a cool color. I just don't know how to do this. Like I could put it here, but it's sort of like, I can put it up and down. I could also turn it into just a circle by cutting this part out. Um, ooh, I could put these down the side like that. That would be kind of cool. That's gonna change the color palette of the spread, I think. So I don't know though that I wanna bring in this green. So I'm gonna bring in this one instead. We'll just do three. And then maybe we'll do like a box down there or something else, but let's just keep going with this. Really love this cute little house with the, the winter, I mean with the like the wreath on it and everything. I think that's so cute. But maybe we'll do that on the other side. Um, I can bring some of these solid boxes in too. Like this one would match, right? 
It would match that sort of, not really, a little bit. I kind of like this tis the season, stay cozy. I don't know. Sorry for all the I don't knows. It's just so tricky, all of this. And me getting back to work is like, it's hard. It's hard getting back into this and, and doing, you know, as good as I was doing before. Although I really do like that other spread I just made. This, I, all right, I wanna put this here, but it's straddling two days. So I don't think I wanna straddle two days like that. So I'm gonna bring it down here. For whatever reason, I'm putting it here, okay? Although, if I do that, we definitely need more of this color on the side, and that might present a problem. I have this one, but it has the holly on it. Um, I don't know. Let's just do it anyway, and I'll figure it out. Now let's put this this little house over here somewhere because I think it's so cute. We'll put it down here maybe. We'll, we'll like overlap a box, I think. Maybe this one. Put this here. And then layer it with this. I just think that's really cute, a cute little house. So let's do it. Put another snowflake down there. Let me grab the snowflakes. Maybe instead of one, we'll put two there, like a bigger and a smaller. That and um, be a couple of like the smaller little guys, like this or just one, I think that's cute. I feel like this isn't matching. It's not the same color, I wish it was, but it's not. Although it is the color of that, so maybe it'll work, maybe. I probably shouldn't have combined these two books, but we're committed now. Bringing in this one. I'm gonna put it maybe here. No, that's right next to that one. How about we put it up here? We can either, even cover that boat because remember I didn't want the boat on there. Now I guess I'm committed to that washi tape. We can do a little layering of this one maybe or I don't know. Let's try it. Okay, also let's get some gold and silver action going. Maybe we'll grab one of these little guys and put it over here on Tuesday. I feel like this is like I'm clustering up a lot lately in different sections. I don't know. Styles evolve so much. Um, so it's just interesting to me. I kind of think this would pull in some of the blue, don't you? Some of the blue from the washi tape. This might be a good idea or it might be a bad idea. I don't know. Either way, it's an idea. Um, I don't quite know what to do with it though. Let's hold on to that though because I think that's not a bad idea um, to use that. And then we could use this one too, put up the tree. I don't know when Cindy's putting up her tree, but let's say she's putting up the tree over here. <laughs> I don't know, it's just like, it's fun. It's fun, let's just put it on there. Where do I want it though? So we bring in both of these and it's gonna pull in that blue color in here, I guess. So stay cozy over here and then put up the tree. I was gonna do like lines down here completely, but maybe not. Maybe we'll put put up the tree down here somewhere, like right over, over the washi tape a little. Okay, 
this color combo, I will admit the color combo, it's stressing me out, you guys. Can you tell? I'm pretty stressed out about it. Um, yeah, there's something that's stressing me out about this color combo and I don't know what it is, but it's just I'm not something I'm not used to. It's a very interesting color combo. And I'm not sure that I'm here for it, you know what I mean? But we're gonna keep going because I think in the end it'll work out. Let's hope. Okay, let's put in some lines. That always helps every time. I know I said I wasn't gonna put gold boxes in because silver is more um, wintry, but or blustery. But I think I'm gonna add a couple of the small ones in there. I think that makes sense. It's 4:30 on Friday. I definitely did not get done what I wanted to get done this week. I'm trying to be gentle on myself right now because of my grief and also because we're moving and there's just so much going on that. I'm trying to be gentle, but I do need to get these custom spreads finished and mailed out. Um, and yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot lately. And I, I could have told them no, but I kind of didn't want to do that, you know? So we're just going to keep going with it and, and just, you know, get it done. Um, what I just noticed about that washi tape that's cool is that little moon is pink and it's the same exact pink as in that. Look at that. It matches. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. I like it better now that the lines are in here. So let's keep going at it here. Um, sorry, you probably can't even see that winter days. Let's put this. Be down here. I don't know. Wait, hang on. Hang on. Not that you were not hanging on. <laughs> this sticker looks so cute, you guys. All right, so I was going to use some of these, and I can't forget, I was going to use the wrong, wrong stickers too, because these are adorable. And that will bring in some of the blue as well. But are we bringing in different colors of blue? I don't know. What about this one? I think this is really cute. Let's cut the bottom off a bit. Sometimes it just gets so tricky when you're using these color combos that are unconventional, right? Like I would never think to pair these colors together until I saw it in a sticker book and then I decided to use it. So it's just not what I'm used to. That's actually really cute. And it does match, the colors do match. So we're gonna keep going with some of these wrong, wrong stickers. Um, I really like these little, these little icons. I think they're really, really cute. So let's see, there's a couple different pages of them. Oops. There's this page too. So let's take a look. Let's take a look, see, and decide what we're gonna do here. There's a cute little blue sweater we could use. Snow day, this one's cute. Um, some mittens. Let's use the mittens. I feel like they match like the whole thing, you know? Let's throw some mittens down right here. And then, I mean, I could use a sweater. It's pretty big though. I could you use the little, um, little hat or the little candle. Hi, Almond. She came to say hello. I also like this holly here is really cute. Um, how about a coffee? Where we put the coffee. Um, where do we put the coffee? Be just right there. I don't know. Maybe I don't need the coffee. Let's face it. I always need coffee, but maybe not in this spread. Okay. Let's look at this little candle here. Ooh. Maybe put it here. Let's stay home, it says. Um, what else can I use from here? I 
actually really do like this little snow day mug. I don't really want to put it up there though. Uh, I keep gravitating towards like this for some reason. Let's just throw it down because that's what I keep going toward. Okay. So we put those down. I also really like these little pictures and I could put a few of these on as well. I know it's a different theme, not theme. It's a different like style of drawing, but it could work. It could work or it might not, who knows. All right, let's wait on that. <laughs> let's wait on that. I'm really, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Okay, let's go back to um, this other book. Sometimes it's tricky when you're combining books and the colors are a little bit different. I am probably gonna do a video at some point on, you know, ideas for combining different sticker books together in a spread because it can get tricky at times. I said I was gonna do like some bluster, blustery doodles, right? How about we do some right here? Um, we'll just do, that and then maybe some up here going this way well we should have the wind all going the same way i feel like just wind okay now gold and silver i grab maybe like a longer silver box down here. I know we're going to have two big boxes on Wednesday. Hopefully you have something going on, Cindy. And then um, maybe another long silver box on the other side. Maybe up here. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. How about we take a couple of solid boxes? I know I'm all over the place. I know I am, but it might work. It might, or it might not. I don't know. I kind of like this green one though. Let's see. It's not quite the same green. That's the problem. So I'm not going to use it. I don't want to introduce any other colors in here because there's a lot of color in here. I know that. Um, so I just want to make sure. Oh, you know what we can do with the wind? I know I'm back and forth and back and forth, but we can take those little snowflakes and we can add in like a couple of little flakes with the, the bluster with the wind. Oops. That's cute. That kind of looks like a face though. Like, oh no, <laughs> it's like eyes and a mouth. <laughs> kind of looks like that, doesn't it? All right, so we'll add in a little bit here, just like a touch, just to show that it's a windy, wintry, snowy day. Okay, let me just step back for a minute and take a look and see what we're missing here. So this is kind of by itself, that color is not a lot of that but I don't care that much. Um, the color matching is this in this is, is really throwing me off. I'm not gonna lie. This, this looks really matchy. I think this would be good. I know we're adding a lot of boxes in now. It's kind of box heavy, but that's never a bad thing in my opinion to have too many boxes. So let's just keep going. Um, we also have this orangey color and this one's like a pinky color. That's like this color and these two are the same. I think that is the problem here. I think that's what's throwing me. These two differences in color, but I can't really do much about it now. Um, 
unless I pulled up like this or pulled up this. And I don't know that I want to do either one of those things. So I think we might have to embrace it. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what I mean? We might just have to embrace it. Um, maybe add in like a little bit of those colors on both pages to pull it together so both colors exist on this spread. I don't know. Maybe we pull that snow day off, pull off that mug. Uh-oh, I took off some of that. And put this down with it. And then we take off this one. That's an extra color too, although it is the color of her sweater. Oh, I can't take off that one, it's stuck. Okay. Then let's add in, let's find something this color to go on this side of the page. How about love this life? We put it right next to the mittens. Okay. It's a little bit better. It pulls in those colors. I don't think I'm liking this here. Sorry for somebody who doesn't like to see me pull stickers up. Maybe I put this up here. And I feel as though something needs to go here, something needs to go here. But what? And these look a little bit bare, but it's okay. We also have this pink that's kind of not the same as that color. I'm not seeing a lot of this pink on this side, so let's look again in this book. Maybe we can pull in some of that too. I'm a little stuck, can you tell? A little bit stuck this time. How about this little tree? The problem is I can't put anything like on that line because of that washi but I can put it down here to sort of take up space on that right there. No, it looks too random though. Let's take this other gold box because we kind of have to match that one over there. We don't have to, but it would be a good idea to do that. So let's take that and put it somewhere, maybe down here. If we draw some more wind here. This is going the opposite way. Remember I said I didn't want to do that. It's okay. Let's get some more of those little blue snowflakes. Okay, let's take a look now. I feel like something's missing up there. Maybe there's like a header or something we can put up there. Just something little. To sort of pull it together, this home for the holidays. Okay, that looks better because it brings in some of that pink, right? Remember, I said I needed that. I feel like maybe like another box here. I wish I had like a little one to match these colors, but I, I don't unless I get like one from the colorful boxes book in that like green color. Help me, people. Why don't why, my cord keeps falling? Whew, the struggle is real, you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys always say you like it. You like me because I'm real. I am about as real as they come. That's all I'm saying. I'm about as real as they come. <laughs> this is a little bit better, this one. It's still not great, but let's put it down and just look and see. I just hope it's like you're planning with me in your living room. There's a rip there. I understand that. Maybe we should put that mug back to ca camouflage that. I don't know. It'll kind of pull that in a little bit. All right. Let's just take a look now. 
it's not bad. I mean, I kind of like it. It's like definitely, it's definitely like kind of all over the place. It's not, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's definitely like haphazard in a way, but I kind of also don't hate it. It's like, it's got a little bit of personality and sometimes like that's all it needs is just a little personality. And I will say like, I've never seen a spread like this one, you know? So, I mean, sometimes you just have to go with what you've done and, and just embrace like what you've created. And even if it's not your favorite, like, I don't think it's bad, you know, it's definitely not my favorite spread I've ever made, but at the same time I made it, you know what I mean? So like, it's kind of fun that way, just to see what comes out of your brain <laughs> and onto paper. So anyway, I don't hate it. That's all I'm saying. I'm gonna put a little flake over there. Why not just add some more, right? Um, let me just step back again, take a look. I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it and I think it's cute, I do. Let me know what you guys think, be nice please. And Cindy, I hope you like it, even though it's not my favorite spread I've ever made for you. I hope you still love it. And um, I guess that's all I've got for you guys today. I will see you on my next one. Take care. Bye.